The Sikorsky S-43, better known as the Baby Clipper, was a twin-engine amphibious flying boat monoplane designed in the United States in the 1930s. Built by Sikorsky Aircraft, it first took to the air in 1935 as a smaller companion to the transoceanic S-42 Clipper. Its design combined elegance with utility, a high wing mounted above the streamlined hull by a central pylon and bracing struts, retractable main landing gear that folded into the fuselage sides, and a steerable tailwheel for land operations. Powered by two Pratt & Whitney R1690 Hornet engines of about 750 horsepower each, the aircraft carried a crew of two or three and accommodated 11 to 25 passengers, depending on configuration. The S-43 gained attention on April 14, 1936, when test pilot Boris Sergevsky and designer Igor Sikorsky reached an altitude of 8,520 meters, approximately 27,950 feet, setting a world record for amphibious aircraft with a 500 kilograms, approximately 1,102 pounds payload. Production continued until 1940, with about 53 aircraft built, including versions with twin-tail configurations, S-43B, and special orders such as the long-range S-43H built for Howard Hughes. Airlines quickly adopted the model. Pan American World Airways introduced it in the Caribbean and Latin America, while Inter-Island Airways of Hawaii, later Hawaiian Airlines, operated four to connect the islands. Aeromaritam flew the type on colonial routes in West Africa, Pan Air du Brazil used seven, and Norwegian airline DNL linked Stavanger with Iceland. Other operators included China National Aviation Corporation, Chilean Air Force, KLM, and even the Soviet Union, which acquired at least one for Arctic operations and search flights connected to Sigismund Levanevsky's polar expedition. The United States military also employed the type. The Army Air Corps purchased five as the OA-8, and the Navy ordered 17 as the JRS-1, two of which served with the Marine Corps. One JRS-1 stationed at Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941, survives today in the Smithsonian's Udvar Hazy Center. The Baby Clipper suffered several accidents, including crashes in Panama, Brazil, China, and Rio de Janeiro, but it remained in service into the post-war years. Its most famous private owners were William Kissam Vanderbilt II and Howard Hughes. Hughes' heavily modified S-43 crashed into Lake Mead in 1943, but was salvaged and later restored. Today, the only surviving example is Hughes Aircraft, registered N-440, owned by aviation collector Kermit Weeks. It resides at the Fantasy of Flight Museum in Florida, awaiting full restoration. Though produced in limited numbers, the S-43 remains one of Sikorsky's most refined amphibians, bridging the gap between pioneering flying boats and modern air transport, while leaving a distinct mark in both civil and military aviation history.